I know my chat is literally so excited to see you. I don't know if you have the stream right. pulled up, but um, do you see uh, this cardboard cutout behind me? Um, I, I, I can see it. I can't see much of it right now, actually. But uh -huh. I, well, that's I think, okay. <laughs> I think I've seen it before. I won't give too much away, but I think I've seen it before, yeah. Oh, no, you've seen it before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So um, to give you a little bit of context, I've been a really big fan of yours for a long time. Um, I know this. I know this. I'm aware of this. <laughs> that's horrible. I'm so Why is that embarrassed. Horrible? I'm so embarrassed. But I've I've been a really big fan of yours for a long time. So we have a cardboard cutout of you. He, this oh, cardboard oh. cutout has done so much good to raise money for charity. By the way, for right, some well, reason, the people right, love it. They're like, bring out Rick. <laughs> and I, love a, I love a full size cutout as well. Who doesn't? Come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He just hangs out there. It's funny because when he's in the background of my streams, usually his head is cut off. Right, so right. I keep him like in the back corner. It's a little bit creepy, actually. People are often like, mm, he, he, is there someone behind look, you? <laughs> it also look like your security as well. Back yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It's like my entourage, you know? <laughs> I haven't seen The Sims or Sims or whatever for so long because- Yeah. Daughter, we have a 30 year old daughter and she loved him. She loved okay. him. But I'm going back some years. I mean, I am going back some years. Yeah, so probably am. like an older version of the is Sims. That my house, by the way, is that my house? Oh, is yeah, I built house? this for you. Oh, my word. That was amazing. <laughs> Could you actually tell me a real one of those? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be nice to get one of these yeah. in real life, especially with this kind of view? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, but the, the crazy thing is as well, and obviously this this could be, you know, this could be something you might relate to, is our daughter is a garden designer. Really? And, uh, yeah, and, um, and she uses obviously, you know, um, computer-aided design, but she also, she studied art, so she actually paints and draws as well, and she paints out and oh, draws. Oh, that's so cool. Garden. She's designing physically, but she also does it in this world as well, if you like, you know. Yeah, and, that's uh, really cool. And it's really interesting that you, you go from doing Sims, you know, as a kid, let's say, for the fun of it and the what have you, but I actually think it's also helped her to develop into actually right. using something similar to this in, in you know, in, yeah, a, in a, paid, a paid job scenario, so it's pretty cool. I wish I could turn this into something in real life. I just build yeah. houses in the Sims and I have no, fun with no, it. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure someone's out there right now is willing yeah. to get you to design a house for them right now. <laughs> anyway, so the idea that I had, I made you in the Sims. I can show you actually if you want to see up close. No. I had a, a guest on earlier who is a, an, also a YouTuber. Um, yeah. And we did a, a contest yeah. where we both tried to make you in The Sims. I don't think I did a very good job. I've never been good at, um, I've never been good really at making like- Humans? Humans, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, the hair's pretty really, good. Yeah, I think it looked okay. I'm just, yeah, I've yeah. never been good at like facial features. That's not like my my expertise. I kind of am like, eh, eyes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I think that looks exactly like me either now or when I was 21. Yeah. But the, the hair is really impressive and let's face it it's all about the hair yeah see you know <laughs> and well, i was kind of yeah, i was trying yeah. to go for the outfit from the never going to give you up music video right. i was kind of trying to, to to mimic it a little bit but we don't have blended, the exact you, options you blended, the, you blended the stripes with a cardigan there yeah right? yeah i tried my best the options yeah. aren't so good but i tried my best yeah no i'm liking <laughs> it i'm liking it the two-tone shoes as well it's all very cool yeah i'm not i'm really not so good at making people i'm a little bit embarrassed to show you this even but we can just you know <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm honored. Okay, I have a question. Have yes. you ever heard of a cow plant? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so there's this the thing. Plant. Well, kind of. There's this right. thing in The Sims. I thought you might enjoy this. I have to grab okay. one really fast so I can show you. Yeah. But yeah. when I say cow plant, I I really mean like it's a it's a cow, but it's also a plant. Oh wow. And and the beauty of this item is that it it's a man eating beast. Um. <laughs> So when it gets hungry, of I don't course know. It is. Yeah, <laughs> when it gets hungry, it like sticks a cake out, like its tongue is a cake, and it sticks okay. it out, and then it will swallow you alive. So does the cake entice somebody to come over? Yeah, to basically. It? Yeah, they're like he's trying to bait you in with the cake, and then when Ooh, you when you eat it, me. don't worry, I won't get you with it. Okay. I think my game's a little bit too loud. Hang on. Um, oh, I can see the cow's teeth now. Yeah, it's kind of scary when yeah. you look up close at it, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. This is probably me being a bad influence, but I was thinking that today we could um, just go around, maybe try and kill some Sims or something. I um, I set you up. We're a five-star celebrity. You can see the like shine <laughs> around you. It's nice. because you're like a top-tier celebrity. And when you're a top-tier celebrity in The Sims, people like faint at the sight of you and stuff. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it's actually quite fun. <laughs> I'll wow, show you. Okay. I'll go take okay. us out and we can go see it. all the time. 
<laughs> I figured, because I know that you probably have, like, obviously never seen The Sims before. But there no, are... I have, but it's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, like that's the thing. Our daughter used to play it all the time, but it's so long ago. I'm, I'm talking 15 years or yeah, more ago, you know? Probably. You probably yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like everybody's kind of played The Sims at least once in their life, you know? It's one of the... It's been around for 20 years. It came out in 2000, right. so yeah. everybody's kind of... Everybody's kind of see it. So where are we going here then? Well, I decided that I would try and come to this bar and see if I could get someone to faint when they see me, but okay. we'll see if it actually works. Ah. Hello? This one's also a celebrity, so that's unhelpful. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that is. Oh, they've got a, they've got a dance routine. Going oh yeah, on they're, they're fancy, aren't they? They're very fancy. They've got shades on. Maybe I'll, pants. maybe I'll steal him. This might be wrong of me, but do you mind if I use him as the guinea pig for the cow plant? Oh, go for it. Okay, good. <laughs> I just went oh, to the bar and stole him, and now I've come water. to kill him with a cow plant. <laughs> Can I tell you, so I actually, I saw you in concert in 2018 in Boston. My mom and I flew from Florida to Boston to go see your show in Boston a long time ago. And one of my my really good friends, who I think is here in the chat, um, was right. there with me. It was her wow. 16th birthday, and you sang happy oh. birthday to her. And it absolutely made her life. She talks about it all the time still oh, to this amazing. day. Um, cool. it's, it is quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> this one's already hungry. We don't, we don't need to wait for it to get so, hungry. So, so give me a second here. So some are hungry when you put them into the game and some aren't. Well, so normally you would like plant this and grow it like like a normal plant and it would become big yeah. and then you have to feed it like every day. But I'm kind of yeah. trying to cheat the system a little bit and get one that's already hungry instead of like actually working on it, you know? Because I would like to have this person get eaten by one. <laughs> and it does have a cake in its mouth. I can sew a slice of cake. I can see Yeah, that, right? it's it's ready for us. It oh, is. Oh, here comes, here comes the person to be eaten. He's, oh, he's running. <laughs> Oh, I was excited by the cake. Oh, he's fell for it. Oh, uh -huh. oh boom. <laughs> There you have it. And then with this, if you get eaten twice in like a short amount of time, you die. But he was lucky he only got spit out that time. Oh no, we got this random person playing with our cow plant. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is probably the most weird, bizarre thing you've ever done. Being forced well, to come watching... sit here with me and my cow plant. Well, I'm actually, I'm watching Stranger, Stranger, um... Stranger Damn Things, yeah. yeah. Well, stranger Things at the moment, and uh, this is stranger than that, actually. So, uh, <laughs> so you're definitely. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong. <gasps> oh my god, I have something that you're gonna like if you've seen Stranger Things. But there's this thing in the game. There's like this whole pack that you can play through where, like, there's this mother plant that's like possessing everybody, <laughs> and right. you have to like defeat the plant to, to save the town and survive. Um, okay. I don't it's think very I can... Stranger Things. It is very Stranger Things. It's actually quite scary. I don't think that I can get into the lab without like playing through it um okay. but i can try and show you the plant it is okay. giant right. like if i just search mother plant with a cheat does it come up cool. the mother. On a side note by the way have you given me a jacuzzi at my house as well oh yeah i love it we've got a hot tub back here i can give you a tour later okay, let's <laughs> we've, do that. i put a hot tub let me show you this mother plant first you think it's small but actually this thing is the most ginormous horrifying object and it, this is also a man-eating creature of course it is yeah because of course it is You'd think The Sims wouldn't have much of this kind of stuff, but well, this thing... Say, did, it, did Sims always have that? Or was it just about building a city kind of thing? Well, to... you know, Sims has always been a little bit morbid. <laughs> like, The Sims well, has always yeah. had these cow plant kind of things. These are sort of okay. classic, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look at its weird tentacles. But yeah, this that thing is, can also eat you. That is weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Anyway, this is your mansion <laughs> that I feel for you. I was going to say, the thing is, you've done such a good job of the mansion and the grounds, which is what got me talking about my daughter and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at that, whatever that's called, that plant thing. Yeah. Just, and that is obviously from another world, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's like an alien. Yeah, it, it does. It does kind of stand out a bit, doesn't it? It, does, it does. <laughs> doesn't quite fit in so well there in the front. No. Okay, well, anyway, I, I built this this house. I, I kind of built it half, like, for this stream, but also just kind of half for fun. Um, right. But the back of it, I think, is the real selling point. It's got this, oh. like, huge infinity pool. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Um, we got the oh, hot tub over cool. here. Yeah, yeah. So who's in the pool at the moment, by the way? There's somebody in the pool. That's a good question, because she's not in our household. I don't know who that is. It's a fan. A fan has come to our house and is swimming in our pool is what's happening wow. right now. There you, there you go. I can't say as I've ever had that happen. No, but, um, I haven't had that happen to me either, but um, yeah. <laughs> she broke in and went swimming in the pool. There you go. That's just like real life, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, typical, right? People yeah, exactly. breaking in, swimming in your backyard. <laughs> I've got one other thing that can kill you in The Sims that I kind of want to show you. Okay. In this game, you can have like a piranha pond uh, oh, yeah. like literally a pond full of piranhas nice. and it's possible that if your sim falls in it they can die so you've built a 
piranha pond at my house, obviously. Oh, you're about to. There yeah, I'm giving you one now. I mean, I'm. we kind of have like a little death trap thing going on on the side okay. of the building, it seems. Um, is this something that goes through your mind a lot or is this just a special day for you kind of thing? Mm, um... I spend a lot of time killing Sims. I, uh, it sort of started with this pond when I discovered that it existed because I had always known about it and I kind of knew that like your Sims could die from it, but I never actually had it happen before. And so okay. one day on stream, I was like, listen, apparently you can die in this pond. I've never seen it. Watch, I'll try and it won't happen. And of course, the time that I, that I tried saying that it wouldn't happen versus yeah. try, my Sim died. Oops. And so later on with that Sim's son, I was like, it was a fluke thing. You won't believe this. Like, first try, my sim died when I jumped in the pond. I'll do it again, it won't happen again. Well, I did it again and the sim died first try, second time. So, so I- So the guy, the guy that you met in the club just came running up there to have a look at the thing, or did you do that? I had him come put, uh, feed the piranhas. Oh, you did, sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. But they do come and like try and feed them and talk to them autonomously. They'll go do it on their own. I was just wondering whether, whether the, the, uh, the woman swimming in my swimming pool might want to swim in the pond, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I think we should send her in oh, there. Then, oh, straight in. Straight in. Yeah, to the pond. <laughs> they don't always die first try. Sometimes it takes some effort. I have to keep having them jump in over and over again, but they can and will die from this. You see, and so after I had those pond incidents with my sim dying by accident a couple times, this was all like on stream. So I was being egged on by everybody, obviously. Okay. Um, Got it. I sort of started a um, a collection of graves in my front yard of nice. my Sims house. Actually, I might show you this right now. Seeing a whole different side to you right now, to be honest, this, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, yeah, it's a little bit concerning, I suppose. With cow plants, burying them in the back garden. <laughs> Okay. It does actually make me look bad. I know, but I swear it's perfectly, perfectly normal. It's perfectly family friendly, um, wholesome content here. <laughs> but, okay. So I've been Lovely. playing in this one save with these Sims for, for ages, like two years now. Like I play with it like almost every week on stream. Mm -hmm. This family has been going on for a really long time. And like, it's been like 12 generations of them. Um, and so over the years, you know, in game, I've, I've collected many graves and I tend to keep them in, in a pile in my front yard. Um, at oh. the moment I live in this big apartment building. So they're in a pile in the front of the apartment building, but nice. um, I'll show you when it loads. My chat is going to love that I'm telling you about this. They're like, they're like rooting for me to embarrass myself. <laughs> Well, I was just about to say, are you, is this all building for you asking me, can you bury all your <laughs> dead sims in this beautiful garden and house that you've built for me? Yeah, I'm asking called? for permission, clearly, to build it in you. Okay, yeah. well, anyway, um, I obviously have a pond here. Here's a dead cow plant, um, right. but my pile of graves is here in the front yard. Very nice. Okay, that is spooky. Yeah, yeah, I've really been working on this one. These ones are special because they're vampire graves. Um, hey. So, um, it's really you nice. To kill them with a, a uh, stake through the heart or a silver bullet? Or they whatever. can burn in the sun. Like this one, Vladdy Daddy here, he burned oh. up in the sun. Um, okay. I left him out in the sun too long. <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I'll take us back and we can go look at the Piranha Pond again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have put you through this. <laughs> Not at all. I'm loving every minute of it. And our guest, our unwanted guest possibly. Yeah, our is unwanted guest is... Um... The, uh, piranha Pond. <laughs> We just have so, to hope basically she doesn't pop back up. So in other words, it just, oh, there she comes. So in other words, it just bubbles and bubbles and eventually bubbles out. And then there is nobody in the pond because there's nothing well, left. Well, kind of. When she dies, you'll see yeah. her like float up to the top. It's kind of morbid. Oh, really? So it's like, oh my word, that is morbid. Yeah. Yeah, it actually is kind oh. of morbid. <laughs> Oh, she's she's definitely she's hanging on in there. That's her third jump. Yeah, into I know. It's pool. really annoying. Come on. Oh my word. Oh, hang on though. Oh, now she, she smells. Oh, I plus. She's getting eaten gradually, I think, or something's happening there. Maybe she peed her pants because she was scared of the piranhas. No, <laughs> Either way, her hygiene's all the way at the bottom. Possibility. I would pee my pants swimming in one full of piranhas to be honest. Yeah, I probably would too. I don't blame her. Mm. She had it coming though, swimming in someone's pool without permission. Well, I mean, Exactly. Why isn't she dying? This, I'm serious. This is like the pinnacle of my entire life. I, I really need to understand. This is so cool. <laughs> you need to get out more. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, maybe. But I feel like you, it's, it's become such a thing, like on my channel, that I am such a big fan of yours. Like th no one ever, ever thought that this would happen. <laughs> This well, is right now. the crossover of the century. Can I tell you something? You might actually know about this. I think they might have told you. Well, I celebrate your birthday on stream every year. I think I do know that actually. I think I have. I think I think I am aware of that, which is I'm ever so grateful for. That's pretty amazing. Thank you. It's so funny. I do. Obviously, 
obviously it started out as a joke. I'm not like that creepy. But like this year on your birthday, I, I did a Rick Roll baking stream and I baked a series of rolls, like cinnamon rolls and stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was just for and fun, it, but. Is that, is that up somewhere? Can I find, is that, will that be on YouTube somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I've got, I have the YouTube video up. I can send, I can send you a link if you want. Great. Oh, look, look, someone's bit the dust in the pool. <gasps> oh, wait, I didn't even notice. The pond, I should say. Oh, she's finally dead. I told you she floats out to the top. Yeah. So who is at the side of the pond then? That's the iPad. Grim Reaper. He's come to um, oh, wow. Reaper's yeah. soul. The Grim Reaper has an iPad these days. Yeah, he does. He's really, um, he's in with the times. <laughs> Exactly. He's real techie recently. <laughs> anyway, well, I, like, I like the the kind of smoke and dust and whatever it is coming out of the bottom of the. Uh, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Outfit. Oh, and there it goes. There's and there the, it goes. Oh. She got what she deserved. Oh. That's all I'm gonna say. And there's the grave. <laughs> and there you have it. The headstone, I should say. There we have it. Amazing. Grave number one. Put that in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she was just in the pool. I think, I wonder if anybody else is going to do that to her. I wonder if anybody would dare do that to us, considering that they end up in the piranha pool. I know, you'd think, we we really, um, <laughs> we showed them a lesson. We've, uh, we've so, put up some warning signs here. <laughs> would you put piranhas in the swimming pool and therefore fool people who want to swim in the swimming I pool? I wish, you know? I wish. Unfortunately, the piranhas are stuck in this pond, this particular could you, item. Could you put the pond, the whole pond, could that go in the pool? I mean, maybe. You you can put an alligator in the pool, but I don't think it'll eat you. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, where's the fun? It's not gonna kill you. What's the point, really? I might actually try that. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. It's incredible. It's all it's all happening. Vladdy Daddy, I think I saw that name before. Another five dollars there. Amazing. I Ooh. feel like maybe I owe you an explanation for Vladdy Daddy. Vladdy Daddy is he's kind of a like a meme in the Sims community. He's um like a vampire sim. Oh. He's okay. he's uh quite a fan favorite. Perhaps okay. I, my chat is very excited that you said Vladdy Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I I got dared by them earlier to say Vladdy Daddy to you in a casual way without um without like making it obvious that I was saying it. That's part of why I showed you his grave earlier. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. <laughs> It worked. I kept a straight face, but this is him. Oh really? Okay. So are we talking? Are we talking about like Vlad the Impaler, as in Vladdy Daddy here? Or what? Well, that, I mean, his name is Vladislav Strahd. That's his name. Okay. Um, so when they refer to him as Vladdy Daddy, they're just his name is Vlad. But yeah, I like so uh, I like his long coat and the buttons. That's pretty. Cool. Yeah, he does look cool, doesn't he? He does. He, does. he has a bit of a hissing problem, though. Um, Missing is, problem. Yeah, he does a lot. Okay. That's that's an actual gameplay feature of this sim. When you're around him, pretty much everybody instantly hates him because he hisses so much. As like, in, yeah, like, like he actually hisses at you. <laughs> he also looks slightly undead as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of his whole vibe. Okay. <laughs> He's a bit creepy and everybody hates him because he hisses so okay. much. Very uh, Bella Lugosi that. That's very like old school vampire times. That yeah, is, like. my chat is demanding to see Agnes and a person named Greg. I think okay. you need to see this. I'm gonna okay. show you Agnes first and Greg can be a bit of a finale. But Agnes Crumplebottom is like, she's been in almost all of the Sims games. So a lot of times in the Sims, this is the Sims 4, obviously <coughs> it's like the newest version, but sure. um, a lot of times in the like older Sims games, they'll bring like those Sims into the new ones kind of because they're like iconic characters basically. Yeah, you can't drop them kind of thing. Yeah, know? yeah. And Agnes is, is very famous. <laughs> <laughs> from many of the Sims games. And in The Sims 4, she runs this little like flower stand and she absolutely refuses to be flirted with. And when you try, she will hit you with her purse. Wow, okay, interesting. Yeah, there's. I'm really showing you a lot of violence. This game is not actually that violent. Oh, it's just- showing me a lot of graves, <laughs> dead bodies, people being <laughs> yeah. eaten by weird things. Well, look, look, the violence oh. is what draws in the chat, okay? We're, we're encouraging oh, them, okay. we're egging them on and okay. then they'll donate. <laughs> so we're, we're, we've now just arrived at a pub called The Gnome arms. Yeah, this is actually, this it's world like is sort that. of like British inspired. This whole yeah, area is supposed like to be. The, the red um, um, the bone box outside. Yeah. As well. Very <laughs> nice. Love it. Just like home. <laughs> yeah. Why is Agnes not out right now? This is Agnes's sister. Just so everybody knows who's not in Britain. This is exactly what Britain looks like. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> there's a there's a little there's a little kind of like you know central kind of courtyard sort of affair in every little village where there are flower stalls a wishing well yeah and, obviously and, yeah. <laughs> it's an exact yeah. replica <laughs> exact re replica yeah oh here she is Agnes Crumplebottom ah, lovely lady lovely lady until until she hits you with her purse I'm just gonna do a flirty introduction and see if that um lets her hit me. 
just so that we can see. The way that we're foaming at the mouth as well. Fruit Simba. Yeah, she might not like that. No. <laughs> so am I, when you say flirty, am I being flirty with her? Yeah, you just you just you introduced yourself in a flirty way, which she doesn't usually like. I'm sorry to make you do that, but it's it's for science. Of it is. Oh yeah, she didn't like it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I was gonna say maybe she likes it when people were flirty with her. Maybe. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. No, yeah, she does not like oh. it when people try and flirt with her. And she goes, "Are you trying to get fresh with me, young man? Take that cheek somewhere else." <laughs> Lovely. And that is that is the exact kind of woman that I, you know, normally get fresh with, by the way. Oh right, of course. <laughs> well, so this this sim named Greg that my chat is demanding I show to you, he's a werewolf, and he's a very angry werewolf. He I don't know what lives out in the woods. Yeah, he lives out in the woods out here. I don't know what his problem is really, but the man is really grumpy. He almost immediately beats you up every time you talk to him. I mean, you can kind of tell. He doesn't seem very friendly. That's his that's his kind of like wolf uh, look. Does he have a human look as well? Yes, but he never turns into a human. He's like he's like permanently a wolf. Oh. Yeah, he's already beating us up. Yeah. I wasn't kidding. That's a lot of yeah, that's a lot of action going on right now. Yeah, there. it's it's quite violent. He literally has just floored me. Um, but, so what's the secret to beating him then? Um, you know, I've never successfully beaten him up. You can't turn me into a wolf at this point, can you? I say me, the, my, the avatar of me. Um, Am I frothing at the mouth there? I think that we might be turning into a werewolf. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Oh I kind of forgot God. that was going to happen. Yeah, we got werebees from tussling with a werewolf. We've been bitten. Loving it. Oh, I cannot wait to see this now. Well, maybe I'll go home and try and sleep through it so we can speed up the process and make it happen faster. Oh, that's actually quite exciting. Oh, I love it. I was foaming at the mouth there. <laughs> this is taking a different direction and I kind of like it. I'm sorry to let you get your sim get bitten by a werewolf. That was, um, no, that's that was my cool. bad. I didn't even know that was a possibility today. You know yeah, I mean? there's a lot of wacky things that can happen in this game. Um, Nicole's just put $50 in there uh get rick to woohoo greg um five dollars thank you what does that even mean woohoo greg <laughs> oh no woohoo is a euphemism um when they say woohoo greg they mean they want you to woohoo greg as in woohoo you mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not woohooing anybody right now if you don't mind no but, no we don't <laughs> have to do that <laughs> no we don't have to do that Oh, hang on, someone else is oh, in the pool. Oh, we've got another fan in the pool. pool. What is going on with this? This is a bad thing? sign for you. And he's also wearing like a, he's wearing like a tank top, which looks like Harry Styles could be wearing that tank top. Do you know what it's I mean? Harry it's Harry like Styles. Harry. He's in our pool. He could be. <laughs> you know what I mean? He could be. Look, he's got a very, very nice collection of tank tops, so it could be him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to feed Harry Styles to this cow plant while I wait. Basically, <laughs> the reason that I'm waiting is because we have this like werebees curse. And yeah. so slowly as this like timer runs out, yeah. he's going to become more and more of a werewolf. Wolf. Ah, okay, so we, got we gotta we gotta like speed up a little bit and try and get through it. Goodbye, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, bye, Harry. <laughs> our, on our donation page, I made a poll that they can donate towards. Um, like when they send in their donations, they can like donate towards the poll of the biggest Sims flop. Um, yep. the, and it just kind of has like some references to like funny Sims memes of things. Um, for example, somebody said house with no toilets. That's because in one of the packs that the Sims made, they released a house that had no toilets in it. Like oh, wow. literally, I can actually show you. And it was an accident. Like it wasn't on purpose. Okay, so they, yeah, obviously that, that just destroys the whole whole kind of like yeah reality possibility of it because you have to build a house without toilets well yeah exactly it. especially it's so weird how they could like make and sell a house then to you like because they you have to pay 40 dollars for the dlc and yeah. then they would make a house where look <laughs> for example in this bathroom like they have this whole bathroom there's two sinks right. a bathtub a shower but there's no toilet anywhere that's no ordinary bathtub that looks like a black onyx kind of yeah like it's like a there. fancy house but there's oh, yeah, no bathtub or there's yeah, no toilets, no I mean. Toilet. And it looks like there's kind of like a space for one as well. Like it looks like they almost yeah. meant to put it here, but they just didn't. Same thing. There's another bathroom over here. There's no toilet. Oh, over yeah. here, there's no toilet. So it's it's kind of a, a running joke in the Sims community. Maybe, the maybe um, person designed that one had a phobia of toilets. Yeah, maybe they're just anti-toilet. I don't know. The this is this is one of the houses in like the the fame pack. Hmm. So the meme is kind of like, oh well, if you're famous, you just don't pee, so you don't need a toilet. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. 
I, I can confirm, having been slightly famous at times in my life, <laughs> you do go to the toilet. Fame has nothing to do with it. This is a groundbreaking information chat, um, nature, confirmed right here. <laughs> nature calls and you need a place to go, and it's as simple as that. <laughs> I think we can try and kill him now. There's another cake that he can eat. They got spit out the first time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this time, not gonna be spit out. Swallowed whole. <laughs> another one bites the dust, a bit of, um... Yeah. yeah another grave to be dug there. Lovely. Sorry, buddy, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> this is my legacy, <laughs> Cowplants name. Um, basically, back in the day, you didn't use to be able to name Cowplants. Now, after an update, they set it so that you can set them, like, have a name. So when you click on this name button, it pops up with a name. And I used to really want the option, because I'm a big fan of them. <laughs> so I complained enough that the Sims team finally added the feature, and um, when you go to name it, by default, it says Little Simsy. Amazing. Isn't that crazy? Wow, yeah. So you've, you've literally built yourselves into, <laughs> built yourself rather, into the Sims. Yeah, this this is my legacy. This is right here. The cow plants being named Little Simsy. Yeah, I can see why you're so excited about the cow plants now. I mean, that's all yeah, yeah. get it. Can I ask, what are what are your impressions of the Sims 4 now seeing it for the first time? I think, I think all of these things can be a little bit addictive. It's like any kind of computer game that you get. You know what I mean? Because you, before you know what you're doing, yeah. an hour's gone by, you've drunk your second you know, coffee or whatever it is, your particular tipple that you're into. And um, you're just, you're hooked, aren't you? Do you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Um, but again, I, I do think that, like I say, I think it, it's really interesting that I'm sure people started playing Sims at a certain age and before you know what yeah. you're doing, they, they could end up being a, you know, a designer because they've gone down that route. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's quite cool. That, yeah, yeah. So. You kind of learn, you learn your interest from it and stuff. I mean, I started playing Sims when I was like nine. <laughs> You know? I'm having a bath right now. Should people be watching that? Oh yeah, well, sorry, let me just scroll away. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think I was um I think I was I've been blurred out, I think. Yeah, don't worry, it's all it's 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 blurred. Twenty minutes until we become a wolf. Minutes. We're almost twelve there. minutes, it's almost happening. We gotta watch up close. Aurora. Oh he's turning, he's turning. Oh look at it. Oh here we Come go. On. Come on, growl. <laughs> oh, oh I love it. Oh wow! Oh, Check scary! Out. That is, I mean, that's here we oh, go. And now he's up on all fours to eat somebody. I love it. Yeah, that's the thing. When you first turn into a werewolf, like the first time, they go on these rampages, and so I can't control him right now. He's just gonna do it every once, and it usually involves destruction. I love it. Oh, wow! So he's just—he's about to destroy a couch though first. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I really cannot yeah. thank you enough for coming on the stream. This is, this is oh, like, oh, really enjoyed it. made my life. I know it's been weird. I'm just like showing you funny things in The Sims. <laughs> Who's just eaten by the cow thing? That was, that, that was the fan who was, who was uh, stalking oh, us. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is the Grim Reaper yet again. Yeah. Oh, well. With Sorry his iPad. about that. With his oh, iPad, yeah. Oh, you're crying about it. Now I feel bad. Yeah, but are they real tears or are they just like... So oh, yeah. Maybe you're just pretending. <laughs> The he doing it because the Grim Reaper's there, and I'm like, I yeah. can't be still weird, like, laughing about it. About yeah, it, yeah, you, know. you just, you can't be seen, like, you have to pretend to care, you know? Well, again, I want to thank you so much for coming onto the stream today. My absolute pleasure, and I will see you in a, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, that's true, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you for for agreeing to be on here. Um, and thank you. No, look, thank you so much for everything. No, no, listen, I think it's amazing what you do and the money you've raised. It's absolutely incredible. All Thanks. that money doing this is just absolutely amazing. And uh, no, I'm really, really happy to have, have done this. And I'm looking forward to meeting you for real, for sure. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I actually can't wait. I, I, I'm i serious. I know that this might sound dramatic, but this has like made my life. I feel like all of this is this has been like my entire streaming career culminated to this point. Well, so, all I can say is what I said before, and that is you need to get out more. I you know you're right. I do. I do. I sit here and I play <laughs> The Sims and that's it. So um, this is a big moment for me. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, good luck. Carry on. Thank you, Rick. Thank and, you so uh, much I'll, for joining us. Yeah, no worries. No, I'll, I'll see you in a couple of weeks time. All and, right. Um, yeah, we'll discuss werewolves, yeah. houses with no toilets, um, yeah. <laughs> plants disguised as uh, cows. Of course. <laughs> have cake on the end of their tongues. And, Lovely uh, stuff. I'm yeah. I'm so glad to have gotten the chance to show it to you. And thank you again for joining us. It's it's really been a lot of fun today. Um, and ha and have fun with your tour. Um, best of yeah, luck no, with your shows this week and stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you. it's been going well. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thanks for everybody who donated as well. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye.
I'm losing my mind. I can hear Dan is still talking to him right now. Dan is like talking to him like normal. They're just in the Zoom call talking. Dan is just talking to Rick Ashley in a Zoom call. Well, how is this real life? <laughs> and he knew about the birthday party and the cardboard cutout. Are you kidding? Oh, that's so embarrassing.